Tampa police looking for whoever's responsible for a shooting that left a Florida rapper dead. It happened early Sunday morning outside a hotel. The recent news of Julio Fulio's death has sent shockwaves through the music industry. Known for his raw talent and unfiltered lyrics, Fulio was a promising rapper from Jacksonville who left us too soon. To remember the legacy of the young rapper, let's dive into some lesser known facts about his life and music career. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like and comment on this video. Also, if you would like to join us for this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to our channel and watch the video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck. One, Julio didn't graduate from high school. Julio's education was abruptly cut short in the ninth grade after a traumatic event. While exiting a school bus, he was shot at, a harrowing experience that marked a turning point in his life. This event not only ended his formal education, but also propelled him deeper into the world of crime and rap. Fulio channeled his experience and pain into his lyrics, using his music as an outlet to express his struggle and resilience. His decision to drop out showed the harsh realities many youngsters face in the violent neighborhoods. Two, first viral track. Julio Fulio's breakthrough came with the release of his 2015 track, Coming Up. This song resonated with many listeners and quickly went viral, putting Fulio on the map as a rising star in the rap scene. The track became a success due to his lyrical proudness and ability to connect with audience through his candid depiction of life in Jacksonville. Coming Up highlighted his journey and struggle, striking a chord with fans who appreciated his honesty and grit. This early success paved a way for his subsequent hits. 3. Beef with Young and Ace One of the most talked about aspects of Julio's career was his high profile feud with fellow Jacksonville rapper Young and Ace. Their rivalry, which often played out in diss tracks and social media exchanges, brought significant attention to both artists. Fulio's When I See You was a direct response to Ace's Who I Smoke, and both tracks referenced personal losses and street violence. This beef not only heightened Fulio's profile, but also showed the public the intense and often dangerous dynamics of the Jacksonville rap scene. 4. Multiple Assassination Attempts this was not the first attack against Julio Fulio. In October 2003, unknown assailants ambushed the rapper in a residential neighborhood in Jacksonville. A bullet hit Fulio in the foot, causing several broken bones and a severe wound. Following the incident, Fulio filed the lawsuit, alleging that a UF health nurse had compromised his safety by revealing his whereabouts. In November 2021, he was the target of another attack in Jacksonville. Although on that occasion, the rapper repelled the attack with a registered weapon. In 2020, Julio was involved in another shooting in Houston, Texas. 5. Julio urged people to be honest about their street life. Throughout his career, Julio emphasized the importance of honesty and authenticity in his music. He urged others to be truthful about their experiences, particularly when it came to street life. Julio's commitment to authenticity was evident in his lyrics which often painted a stark picture of the challenges and violence he faced. He believed that being honest about one's past and present was crucial for personal growth and credibility. This stance resonated with many fans and fellow artists who saw Fulio as a genuine voice and a genre, sometimes criticized for glorifying false narratives. Six, Julio took a social media break after narrowly escaping bullets. After surviving an attack in 2023, Julio took a hiatus from social media to focus on his recovery and mental health. This break was a significant moment to deal with the toll that constant danger and public scrutiny had on him. During this time, he had reflected on his life and career, gained a deeper understanding of the need for self-care amidst the chaos. His temporary absence from social media was a reminder of the human side of him, who despite fame was actually leading a rather dangerous lifestyle. 7. Julio wanted to change himself In a significant shift, Julio had announced his intentions to leave behind the practice of dissing dead rivals in his music. He acknowledged this behavior was childish and expressed a desire to mature and evolve as an artist. Julio's tweet, After my tape dropped on the third, I'm done dissing dead ops and shit. That shit childish, I'm leaving all that in the past. Marked a pivotal moment in his career. This decision was a step towards personal growth and a more positive direction in his music. It showed his willingness to learn from his past and strive for a better future. 
8. Julio was dating Bianca Manny. Julio Julio's girlfriend Bianca Manny had been an important figure in his life, although not much is publicly known about her. After Julio's death, she shared an emotional post on Instagram, which is now private, revealing that he passed away after celebrating his birthday in Tampa. Her posts include a picture of him and details align with other accounts of the incident. Julio was initially celebrating at an Airbnb, but had to leave when police arrived due to occupancy limits. The group then moved to a Holiday Inn where the tragic shooting occurred while they were attempting to book rooms. Julio Fulio's death has left a void in the music industry, but his legacy lives on through his music and the stories of his life. He will undoubtedly be most remembered for talking authentically about street life. As we remember Julio Fulio, we celebrate the promising artist whose life was cut short by nonsense violence. And with this, we have come to the very end of this video. Tell us in the comments below which song by Julio Fulio was your favorite. Let us know your thoughts on the whole video below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video and if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all the future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.